it's the year 2020 the year is 2020 june 2020 and up to today i am still getting messages of people telling me yani eddie grim eddie grim we have kenyan rock bands yes we have kenyan rock bands please stop sending me these messages yeah in 2020 during the apocalypse yani dunia iko karibu kuisha and you do not know that we have Kenyan rock bands. Yes, we have Kenyan rock bands and they are very talented. Today, I am going to be telling you the top 10, top 10 best Kenyan rock guitarists. Yeah, this list is incredibly subjective. So to those OG people from the scene, eh, if you don't agree with this list, please, this list is very subjective. It is based upon uh, the, the people I have seen playing live at gigs and also uh, the people you know you know there are some famous personalities in the kenyan rock scene who are famous guitarists and uh, if they are my friend uh, they get a, a higher vote but uh, this list is very subjective and it is of guitarists who are in rock bands here in kenya so musianza kuniambia kuhusu sijui sauti soul has a guitarist blah 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 i'm looking at kenyan rock bands and the best guitarist in kenyan rock bands and also metal bands yeah so let's just jump straight right into it okay number 10 is Lenny from Irony Destroyed. Iron, he also plays in, apparently the last time I saw him, he was also playing in this band called Aphasia. So uh, one of the members of Aphasia, Sitaki Kusema Nani, uh, said that Lenny is a very good guitarist, very good at, you know, the yeah, and playing riffs. Plus, I know, person, I, I know Lenny personally, he's very much into metalcore, and he plays mainly the last time Mainly he was uh, the guitarist for Iron Destroy. So for number 10, Lenny, if you don't know these bands, you can always check. There's this video I did called Best of Kenyan Rock Bands in one video. I'm going to leave it at the end screen. You can check that out after you watch this one if you don't know any of these bands, okay? Number 9 has to go to one hybrid intuition. Yes, hybrid intuition. And I did it George Gashiri. George has played for Kanyaki. George. He has played with Rish. Yeah, he's the big guy over there with the guitar in, in Rish's band. So he has also played for Rish. And also Hybrid has his own uh, YouTube channel where he does his own music. So I'm going to leave the link to pop up right here. And uh, please make sure to check him out. I'll also, I think I'll also leave it in the description section in case you're watching this maybe on your TV and the link doesn't pop up. Yeah, Hybrid Intuition, very, very talented guitarist. Um, I also know him in person, he's very good at guitar and uh, I just enjoy watching him play. So for number 9, Hybrid Intuition, his real name is George Gashiri. So uh, I'll, I'll even leave, I'll even link, I'll, I'll even leave his, his Twitter in case you're active on Twitter and you want to go check him out, alright? Number 8 has to go to one gun of straight line connection yeah number eight has to go to gun gun is a, a a close buddy of mine we've even planned gigs together very very talented guitarist i i like i like watching him perform live like um on october 26th there was this gig called heavy and the beast awards and uh, you know the, the the one of the best things that straight line connection does for those of you who do not know Straight Line Connection is a hard rock metal band from Kenya and the lead singer is Gun. So Gun sings and then he also plays. So uh, uh, system uh, Straight Line Connection, they always do a cover of Aerials by System of a Down when they are performing live. And my God, when you watch Gun playing live, he plays really, really well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a guitarist, so if you tell me, oh, this guitarist is better than the other because of, because of certain finger picking techniques. Me, I don't know those things. I'm only judging based on what I've seen and also what uh, other people in the, in, the, in the rock community have told me. Yeah? So for number eight, I definitely have to talk about Gun of Straight Line Connection. Yeah? I'll leave all the links for all these bands in the description section below so that you can check them out. Most of them are on YouTube, all right? Number seven has to go to the guitarists in LYT, but mainly, mainly Jose, Jose. Jose who plays lead for LYT. I was told by um, a very, a very trusted, very trusted source that Jose is very good at guitar. But also I'd like to give a shout out to Diallo who plays in LYT and also Mahia who are also very talented guitarists. Is there another guitarist in LYT? 
uh, is another one yeah i only know lead rhythm and bass yeah kuna kuna mwingine but so the lead, the lead guitarist of LYT and then also the guitarist at LYT are also pretty good and they take my number 7 spot number 6 has to be 9 mr 9 mr 9 of mafis floor yeah a talented talented guitarist i'm not saying he's the only good guitarist in um, in Mafis floor please Josie and Mukasa mkiona hii video msini kujie yeah so for those of you who do not know Mafis floor has six members uh, Rima Mukasa Mr. Nine Josie uh, Vicky Vicky and Jojo yeah it's, it's, uh, Vicky and Jojo yeah so that one of the best guitarists in Mafis floor and I try nine there's this clip of him performing a uh, Purple Haze Purple Haze by Jimi Hendrix I mean look at that just just look at that yeah he's he's so good yeah he's even playing on the floor so definitely I had to I have to add him on the list but also I you know an honorable shout out to all the guitarists in Murphy's Law and Dawson Nikujie but for number 6 I definitely had to highlight Mr. 9 from Murphy's Law okay And now we go to the top 5 best Kenyan guitarists these are the best Kenyan guitarists who are amazing personalities they're very friendly i also think they're very talented live and uh, they're just people you should meet if you've never met them okay and that is number 5 has to go to Amo Amo of uh, the Moran eh Amo of Parking Lot Grass in Najo Parking Lot Grass by the way which is your favorite Kenyan rock band please comment below i always go through the comments so i'd really like to know which uh, which uh, is your favorite uh, rock band Kenyan yeah so Amo from Parking Lot Grass i hear he is very talented uh, in playing roughly everything whether it is bass or regular guitar apparently Amo is really good come on your parking lot grass definitely you need to know that Amo is one of the best guitarists if if from parking lot grass and also in the Kenyan rocks and he takes my number 5 position number 4 has to go to a veteran number 4 has to go to a veteran yeah a veteran someone who is old school in the game has been there even before i existed yeah and that is mark yeah mark <laughs> Mark yeah John Mark I know John Mark Mark yeah he knows himself Mark is guitarist uh, I remember seeing him play for his band called Rock of Ages append <laughs> So Rock of Ages is a Christian hard rock band and um, and um, Mark plays guitar there and Mark isn't just a guitarist he also organizes gigs so I definitely had to give him a shout out and he takes my number 4 spot as one of the best guitarists in Kenyan rock so far in my list yeah Number 3 this top 3 this top 3 guys they are close friends I know them Uh, I really like watching them play and I know them in person and we interacted a lot. Number 3 has to be Patrick. Patrick Sanders. Yeah? He knows himself, Patrick Sanders. And by the way, shout out to Refuge. I'm going to do a video about this later, but shout out to Refuge. They got mentioned by Lynette Skinner as of the time that I'm I'm recording this video. They got mentioned by Lynette Skinner. Come on, Julie Lynette Skinner. There's this song called Sweet Home Alabama, yeah? Dun 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 Big wheels keep on turning, yeah? If you don't know that song, just Google it. Lynette Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama. So So there's this song that Lena Skin had have called Simple Man and uh, Refuge always do uh, a cover of uh, Simple Simple Man live. So Lena Skin had happened to 
mentioned that on their Instagram and they reposted it. Wow, bravo! But that's a that's a big thing, yeah. That's a big thing. It's not a small feat when a, a, a very famous band from abroad talks about a Kenyan band. Yeah. So for, for for number for number three, I'm going to be mentioning Patrick Sanders. He is a lead guitarist, I believe. He's lead guitarist at uh, Refuge. I'm going. I think I'm going to also do a video on Refuge. Um, He's lead guitarist at Refuge, and my God, he's awesome. For those of you who have gone to a, a, a show, for those of you who have gone to a, a live show of Refuge, I'm sure you've seen. Patrick, he puts the guitar behind his neck and then he's like Like a Jimi Hendrix move, yeah. He puts the guitar behind his neck, and then he plays, and he's so talented. And for me, that is something that I don't usually see in other guitarists. So he had to take my number three spot. Number two has to go to a favorite, yeah. Someone who recently showed up, and he and you know people saw him, and we were like, my God. And his name is Jack. Jack from Twenty More Days, yeah. The lead guitarist of Twenty More Days, Jack. Wow, that guy is fire. That guy is fire. When it comes to guitar solos, he's really good, yeah. But I also have to give a shout out to the other, to the other guitarists of Twenty More Days. Even them, they are good. Uh, you know, I, I, it's a top ten list, so I can't mention everyone. But I wanted to mention the guitarists in Twenty More Days, especially Jack. Jack, yeah. Jack, he's very good. And uh, if you ever go to see Twenty More Days live, I'm sure you'll notice him playing his guitar. He takes my number two spot. And before I mention number one, I'd like to give a shout out, to, uh, an honorable mention. They didn't make it to my top ten, but they definitely have to be mentioned. And that is the guitarists, uh, the guitarists at Dub Slim, yeah. Dims, yeah? Saidimu, yes. I hope you, I hope you watch this, Saidimu and uh, Grego, especially Grego. I think Grego is really good, and also Saidimu is really good. Uh, the last time I saw them, I saw Dub Slim performing live. They were doing acoustic sessions, and I thought they were killer guitarists, yeah. Number one, dun, 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 dun. yeah, number one, number one best guitarist in Kenyan rock, who I think is just eh, upper, is just upper, yeah, has to be Rush, the, leads, the, the guitarist at Rush, his name is Jesus, yeah, <laughs> yeah, his name is Jesus, <laughs> no, seriously. If you send him M-Pesa, yeah, it indica you have sent money. No, it, it indica it will write Jesus has received your money. Yeah. So um the guitarist, I believe the lead guitarist, the lead guitarist at um at Rush, his name is Max. Max Jesus, yeah, it's written as Jesus, Max Jesus. Um he's really awesome. I think he, he has that rock and roll look. He has that Jesus rock and roll look. And then you know, also he's a very good like you know, he's very good at soloing. And if you've watched Rush performing live, I'm sure you've seen Max performing. He's also very good at playing. And for me, he's my favorite. Like I said, this list is very subjective. Come away any OG member of uh, the Kenyan rock scene. Please comment below and tell me who is your favorite guitarist. If I missed any, I'd really like to know. But for me, number one, Max takes. Uh, the spot. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. My name is Eddie Grim, the Rock DJ. Remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed my explanation and consider subscribing.
when you subscribe make sure to tap the bell icon so that you see this video that talk about Kenyan rock they watch it and I'm going to make more videos about Kenyan rock all right did you enjoy this video which guitarist are you familiar with which rock band are you familiar with I'd really like to know in the comment section below all right thanks so much for watching you take care and God bless